Charlotte Carroll covers the Giants for the Athletic. Charlotte, great to see you. Nice to see you guys got me hungry now. I want a cutlet. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> it's amazing. We're back here again. Uh, Daniel Jones era <laughs> is now over in New York and Tommy DeVito obviously back under center. Are you surprised by the decision by the Giants to go with DeVito and not Drew Locke? I'm not surprised that Daniel Jones was benched, but it was a bit surprising that they went with DeVito rather than Locke. I think if you look at Locke's one uh, game this season when he came in earlier against the Eagles, he didn't play very well. So that has to be going through uh, Brian Dable's mind of like, you know, you got your familiarity with uh, Tommy DeVito versus what you've already seen from Locke. So it kind of makes sense, um, but still nonetheless surprising when you bring in Locke for a one year, $5 million deal. Now he flashed last year. I think he was three and three as a starter, but won three consecutive games, NFC Offensive Player of the Week after they beat the Packers 24 22. But realistically, Charlotte, when you look at DeVito, what's his future here with the Giants? That's a great question. I mean, he's kind of auditioning to be a bridge for the future, potential backup when they do find their find their guy. And I'm sure some people in Cedar Grove, you know, hoping that he's the eventual starter for the New York Giants. But right now, definitely looking to, to secure his future long term here. All right. How would you define the Jones era last six seasons? There's a lot to, a lot of layers to it. There's no question about it. But how would you is the days are numbered? How would you describe DJ's time here in New York? I think disappointing and always you wanted just a little bit more but you kind of were always left with almost a bitter taste in your mouth like he did just enough that you're like okay this could this could work but then there was always something that held him back and you just saw that constantly in his game it was kind of one step forward two steps back all the way um and i was only here for uh three of those seasons uh, so it was i came in during a very high point of his career starting as a giants beat reporter and then to kind of watch it go full circle to, to kind of where it started from you just have to be disappointed as a Giants fan. All right, let's focus in on the head coach and the general manager, Dable and Shane. Um, they're going to get more time. The co-owner, John Mara, has already said that. Uh, how would you grade that out the job that they've done here over the last two-plus seasons? I mean, it's got to be a C at this point. I'm, I'm bad at grading and like to see the full kind of – I'm an uh, easy marker, Charlotte, <laughs> but I think that's fair. I think a C – I mean, you get your playoff appearance – but then it's been just disastrous over the last two years. And part of that was due to injuries and then things just kind of not going their way. But it just hasn't been good. And then you give Daniel Jones that contract and he just hasn't worked out. And they're benching him at this point. So you got to kind of keep that into effect. Um, and they need to win out or I don't want to say win out, but they need to have some success to, to close this year and at least perform better um, to see what kind of happens towards the end of the season. We've already heard John Mara talk about, you know, they're safe at this point of the season and then and anecdotally like you know see what happens after anticipate that they'll be safe um, but you never know all right a lot of blame on Jones for this team being two and eight do you think the Giants have issues mostly at quarterback or do you think the issues run deeper than that I think it's collective I think you can look at the quarterback and that's kind of what we're going to find out is that Jones has kind of played a shield for the part the first part of the season but what does that look like with Tommy DeVito in the pocket does that you know unearth a little bit more I don't want to say cover it up a little bit more or just show that it's more than just a veto uh, or excuse me more than just the quarterback position so we'll see Sunday what that looks like when you look at it when you look at Dayball and Shane if you draft a young quarterback in Springs NFL draft right and whoever it might be they're going to be given more than a year unless you want to do what Chicago's doing which has been an absolute disaster year one with Caleb Williams yeah, that's the thing. It's kind of like you have to agree that they're going to get not only next year, but potentially beyond just to kind of like, okay, this is their, their project. I don't, don't want to call a person a project, but the quarterback is a project, you know, yeah. get them accustomed, see what happens. They need the time and they can make that argument that, you know, we need this. So you have to be very confident that these are the two people that you want in charge of that. Well, get ready to eat some chicken cutlet sandwiches. All right, Charlotte. <laughs> I appreciate to find one. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate the time tonight. Continued success with the athletic. All right. Thanks so much for having me back. You on. got it.